Hey Clashes, you are looking for an easy but strong strategy after that last Tunnel 15 update? Don't worry, I got you covered because Dragons with the new level are incredible. They are super consistent in getting solid results and we're adding Super Minion inside a Blimp because Super Archer Blimps got nerfed. So instead we're running this Blimp version which is getting incredible value and is pretty much never getting baited and it's really hard to defend as well. So with that being said, Let's just jump into a couple of attacks and I will show you exactly what to look out for and how to execute with this strategy on bases in Legend or in Clan War. Okay, we have a wonderful box base and we typically have overall three different approaches. The first one is just going straight into the Town Hall. That's not really an option because two things. First off, there's not a lot of value and two, uh, second, there's like the Sweeper. And the other one is from the far side, but there's a sweeper against it. So we would go just from the flank. I will go from this left side. Let's just get something done here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to take down the air defense, like one, two, and then three like that. So we can get a nice funneling done with our babe dragon. And then the rock dunes are obviously for the air defense with the other two dunes. Then the pathing is just pretty much set for our dragons to really get a lot of value. And the air defense cannot really wreck our babe dragon. So we can then send our king and our queen from this left side to create even a better pathing for our dragons. And then we go in with a couple of loons just like that. We're sending in we're actually a couple of black mines. That should be no problem. And then we can just send the blimp in just a second. There we go. I will try to delay the blimp for the... Yep, I will try to get the warning ability just a little bit. Freeze that. And then we're going to open that, clone that, rage that. And then we're raging all of this here as well. Clo uh, invisible is dead as well. Again, Queen has used her ability, unfortunately, which is kind of sad. So should we turn something invisible again? We can add the Royal Chain because the Clan Castle is dead. So that's good for us. Let's just be honest. Let's just use that poison right here for the defending Queen. Let's turn my Royal Chain invisible because I, I like... The Roy Champ being alive, that's always a nice thing. And now for the back end, I think it looks pretty good for us. That looks pretty solid for an opening. We still have the invisibility spell to support our our heroes for the back end. We can now play our cleanup right there. And we still have the queen with the king. Or like no, actually not with the king, but with the yak. The yak is still alive. The Royal Champ doing some more damage, which is great. And the only problem we have is this king. <laughs> this king. It's going to be tricky. Let's see. Let's see if we can make that work. We have the Yak tanking. We have the Queen in there as well. We have the Warden dealing damage. Let's hope that that's going to be enough. And we have the Invisibility spell in 50 seconds. Now you might wonder, it's you still have 50 seconds left. And even though you were taking so much time to explain stuff in the beginning, this time is kind of quick. This this like this like attack is kind of quick. And yeah, so you don't really have to worry about time that much, which is overall kind of nice. Let's turn things invisible and enjoy a nice three star. That's exactly how we do it. As I said, always go for those three approaches, um, especially on box bases. Either next to the town hall, if there's a lot of value at no sweepers, or otherwise from the far side, if the sweepers are not pointing in that direction. And then the third option, which we just took, is from the flank, and that should easily work. Okay, we have our next box base, but I feel like this time we have so many ground expels and the king on this side that I do not want to worry about that at all with my heroes, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my heroes around this town hall side, but still the blimp is going to be from the flank and now it's all about the rocket loon funnel again. So I want to get rid of this air defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the rocket loons and then one test loon, like one tank loon pretty much. So that... Just like that. Oh, and the last one. And with that, the air defense should go down. The Bay Dragon now should be a good way, exactly, of funneling this side to make sure that my dragons then are going directly into the core and not like to the left, right, wherever. So they're strictly just all about going to the core. Now on the other side, we're going to play like a um, few loons here. I think two should be enough to take down that cannon. And then we have, you can see already the clear pathing right into the core for the dragons. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now the king and the queen, as we have said, to test rune, the remaining dragons, warden in there as well, the dragon riders, and then just the blimp and the remaining um, loons. Now the warden ability to block the damage of the defending queen, and that's already looking pretty damn good so far. Now let's just turn that invisible, rage it up. With that being said, the tunnel should be gone within a couple of seconds. We can rage things up over here. And now let's just 
freeze that up. We can still turn things invisible if you want to. We can see the dr the king and the expos can't do anything about all of my drag like the expos can't do anything about my my air troops right there, which is good. And now we have to use the last couple of spells to support my heroes to push all the way. We still have a couple of super minions, which is kind of nice. We still have to add the... Now, the question is, when do we add the royal champion? I don't want to add her too early. I don't want to add her too late. Because if she's, like, completely on her own and runs into the rest of the damage, that would be bad for us. So I'm kind of waiting right now um, to delay her a little bit. Maybe even wait until the queen is taking down the royal champion, I think. Can we already snipe some buildings? No, we can't. Time at this point might be an issue. Well, let's just see. Okay, so Royal Champion. Now in with my Queen. We can turn both of them invisible. At least, at least that should work, right? Let's turn both invisible. Royal Champ on the menu. The defending Royal Champ at least. Okay. So far so good. We can use the Queen ability in just a second as well. Just like that. There's a giant bomb. That's unfortunate. The Unicorn is going down. Oh no. Did I talk too much in the beginning in the first place? That would be pretty bad. But you can see the idea of this strategy with the pathing, right? So it is all about the setup of the strategy. And that's pretty much giving you the success of nearly always getting high percentage. Nearly always getting high percentage. And as well having a really solid chance of 3 star, which is exactly what you're looking for, right? Like that's exactly what you're looking for with an easy to execute strategy overall. And... Well, getting closer to the 90% 2 star, not too bad. Now let's try to get a final 3 star. Okay, we have a ring base to finish things off. So what I'm trying to do on ring bases typically is try to go for sweepers and a lot of value. Because you do not want to go against the sweeper. So what I'm trying to do is go into a land right behind this air defense. Because with that we should get a lot of X bells. We should maybe even get the eagle and we should get the, the sweeper right there. So that's kind of the, the go-to thing. So let's just do that with the rocket loons we can use for that. That's no problem. Let's use one rocket loons even over here. And let's hope that we're going to get, as I said, behind the air defense. That's kind of what you're looking for. Uh, not exactly, but that's uh, fine. Let's just race that as well and clone everything. Turn everything invisible again. So things so far are not looking too bad, actually. Now let's turn everything invisible again. As I said, the sweeper would be optimal. But the eagle as well would be a nice thing to get. Come on, sweeper. Yes, perfect. So we're getting everything we're looking for right here. Because the next step then is really make sure that your dragons are going where you want them to go. with, Which is this far right side. And you have no sweeper against you whatsoever with this setup. That's exactly what you're looking for with the dragon already starting to clean up on the right side. So with that being said, let's now get everything in here. We can have the king and the queen in just like just a couple of seconds. Uh, for funneling purpose on the outside. And then we can as well freeze the defending royal champion in a second. Because that royal champ is going to be kind of annoying otherwise. So for this now. Let's, oh, we don't even have to freeze that to be honest. Let's just trigger the invisibility tower again with that. Okay, tunnel is invisible. And now let's rage things up. Warden ability so we're getting that town hall down. We're going to do more of the clan cards in just a second. Let's just freeze that because we need that tunnel out. We need that tunnel gone. And that's exactly what we're going for. Now another freeze right here. We need now the monolith gone. That would be the next option for us on the next priority. Lava Hound already came out. So that's... It is what it is. So we can just send in the Royal Champ because we have already looted the clan cards. So we cannot really delay anything there or like make sure that we're saving anything. The Queen is on a wall. As she always is. Like for whatever reason. But hey... It is what it is. We can just poison that now. Royal Champ is doing an incredible job at the moment for taking down the core already. Now let's see if we have the ability and the power for finishing this off. Royal Champion. Diggy took a lot of damage. That's unfortunate. But hey, we have still 40 seconds. Hopefully this is enough in time. And hopefully I did not talk again too much with this one. Just use the Royal Champ ability right now to take down the Archer Towers. Already some cleanup minions right there. The Queen ability might be needed in just a couple of... Come on, Queen. Go for the right wall. Please, it's kind of the right wall. I don't know. Not really, but it's somewhat correct, maybe. Queen, come on. It's all about you. It's all about you, Queen. 15 seconds. Maybe I used the ability too early. I don't even know. 13, 12 seconds. Guys, I think that should be it. That should be our next playstone. As I said, with ring bases, 
go for the sweepers. They are nightmares otherwise. You do not want to go against the sweeper. If anything I learned with this strategy, that's probably the worst thing you can possibly go for. Don't try to greet for the town with a war the blimp. That does not work in most cases. Try to go for pathing and take down those sweepers. And with that being said, as always, the link should be down below in the description of the video. Feel free to copy it. Let me know how it works for you. But overall, I would say if you're looking for an easy to execute and it's pretty solid strategy overall for air after the update of town of 15.2 or 0.5, I don't know, however you want to call it, then this strategy is for sure for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something new. And I will see you guys back tomorrow with the next one. Until then, see ya and bye bye.